Okay, new episode of AI's hit um, with again like every other week. Uh, well, like every week, uh, we will attempt to discover uh, or rediscover photographers through artificial intelligence, which will explain to us the bio and the style, uh, for the better or for the worse. Um, and it's really an attempt to see what's the capacity of AI in photography. Um, again, I will be using ChatGPT for the historical data um, and Dali and Midjourney for the illustrations. So, yeah, uh, let's start directly to ask uh, artificial intelligence um, about the bio of this photographer. He was a British fashion and portrait photographer born on the 13th of April 1913 and died on the 9th of February 1990. He started his photography career in the early 1930s working as an assistant to society photographer, society photographer, society photographer. He quickly made a name for himself with his innovative and creative approach to photography and soon began working for Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, and other leading magazines. He was known for his use of natural light and his ability to capture a sense of movement and energy in his photographs. He was also known for his sense of adventure and for his willingness to travel to exotic locations for his work. Throughout his career, he photographed some of the most famous and influential figures of the 20th century, including royalty, actors, artists, and politicians. He also photographed famous personalities such as Audrey Hepburn, Catherine Hepburn, Princess Diana, and Princess Margaret. He had a particular interest in the world of fashion, and his photographs are still considered to be some of the most striking and beautiful of that era. He was also known for his creative approach to photojournalism, his innovative and exciting way of capturing the world, and he was considered a master of his craft. Yep, okay, so so besides the fact that um, it seems that ChatGPT sometimes repeats itself, weirdly, uh, as we saw in the first uh the first two images, the description. Um, it kind of looks like uh, after all those weeks of looking at photographers through the eye of AI, um, that it's kind of the same word, the same description, sort of broad descriptions that come out, kind of the same group of words, the same sentences that tend to come in. Um, and um, it looks like it's trying to seem coherent and, and truthful while it's quite it's quite shallow actually um, so yeah definitely go look at the real sources uh, for for those photographers we, we look at every week um, and then again as every week uh, I asked uh, Dali to illustrate uh, according to words chat GPT gave us and here I'm um, yeah maybe some of you have already discovered who the photographer was I'm not really sure it comes out maybe the last picture but um but yeah it's uh norman parkinson um yeah anyhow uh, let's ask ai for a bit more about his uh, specific style Norman Parkinson was a British photographer known for his fashion and portrait photography during the 20th century. He was known for his ability to create elegant and visually striking images of a long strong sense of glamour and luxury okay yeah not sure the, really the character of uh, the photographs of Parkinson come out here, maybe some sense of the period, uh, the era when he was taking his photographs and the color treatment, maybe also the pauses, but um, yeah, let's, let's, ask, let's, let's listen to a bit more about his uh, style. One of the key characteristics of his style is his use of exotic locations and settings which he used to create a sense of drama and fantasy in his photographs. He often traveled to far-flung locations to shoot his photographs, and his images often had a sense of adventure and escapism. Those two are definitely, for me, not convincing. Um, uh, yeah, besides uh, the kind of non-photorealistic look, um, they're quite... Uh, I don't see any real element that would tell me, oh, yeah, that's Norman Parkinson. Uh, the pauses are quite well basic uh looks like models of course um again i'm the one who makes the prompt according to the text that uh, chat gpt uh, returns but but still uh, i really ask for something that's in a style evocative of of the photographer's style uh, so not very convincing in my opinion but let's check uh, a little bit more about the about the style 
interesting feature of his style is his use of bold and vibrant colors, which he used to create a sense of energy and movement in his images. He also often used unconventional pauses and lighting to create a sense of drama and tension in his photographs. Okay, so basically this, this week I, I feel that also the description is kind of a bit clumsy, um, the construction of the phrases, not sure why that is. Um, and here are the two pictures, maybe the geometrical shapes uh, of of the the element, uh, the necklace or the element that she has in her hairs on the right picture. And maybe the, the really contrasty colors could here remind us of Norman Parkinson's style. I'm not sure I would have guessed uh, just based on those images and without more um, about him. So I'm not very satisfying this week, uh, at least for me. Maybe you have comments or uh, other suggestions you want to post below, so don't hesitate. But as we have a virtual Norman at our hands, let's um, in our hands, let's uh, ask him for some custom creation. Um, could we have a woman standing on one leg, looking at the horizon on a sunny waterfront in a fashionable outfit uh, photograph in the style inspired of Norman Parkinson? Okay, so let's start with Dali. Uh, I really don't feel convinced by those two pictures here. Uh, I don't see much that would uh, inspire us to think, oh, this is Norman Parkinson. There's a deliberate try to do what I asked in the prompt, but nothing, not, nothing really of the poetry or the, the aesthetical... Uh, refinement that you, you would find in, in Norman's work. Um, let's check the two next ones. Here again, uh, weirdly, the colors is definitely not part of the, the model um, Dali is looking at to create those photos. At least it's not, doesn't seem to register that in, in the style of Norman Parkinson. So quite, quite disappointing. Um, I really feel it's completely off, actually, uh, in this case. So, but let's check with Midjourney. Okay, so here a little bit better. Uh, I, I guess there's some, something more of the era, but but again, I think the, the main point this week is is it's like if we had found two new photographers. One's name is Dali, and the other one is Midjourney, and, and I really feel here in, in those creations that we we really have two characters that look more like the AI that's creating it than the inspiration they should um, refer to. But anyhow. I think Midjourney is doing a better job in this case. Let's check the two other pictures. Here again, I think there's something in the pauses and the, the composition. It's not very strong, but uh, I, I wouldn't have... Uh, maybe the picture on the left, actually, I would have said, oh, yeah, maybe Norman Parkinson. But, but it looks more like, like a Midjourney, a classical, um, old-school and uh, historical photo. But, but anyways, um, I hope... This gives us, it gives us actually an idea of where AI is going, but, but hopefully it was entertaining. And I think the main point is uh, hopefully it makes you want to go check the real work of Norman Parkinson um, in exhibitions, in books, in, online, and see how, how his work went and how his life was. Um, yeah, anyways, catch you next week. And yeah.